Veka is an open source data mining tool. It is developed by Waikato University, New Zealand. It can be downloaded from the following link and it runs on Windows, Mac operating system and Linux. This is the Veka GUI chooser. It has five applications, Explorer, Experimenter, Knowledge Flow, Workbench and Simple CLI. For most of our work, we will choose to work on Explorer. The Explorer has the following menus, Preprocess, Classify, Cluster and Visualize. We can open the file either saved on your system or we can also use URL. For demonstration purposes, we will choose the file that you get when you download the Veka software. And this file can be located in C drive, program files and Veka. This is the sample data file. For demonstration, we'll use the Iris dataset. This is the specifications of the given Iris dataset. It has five attributes, that is columns, and 150 instances, that is rows. It has three classes, Iris Satosha, Iris Versicolor, Iris Virginica, each having 50 counts. It also shows the petal width, petal length, sepal width, and sepal length variation across the different attributes or classes. We can also visualize the given data set by choosing the visualize menus. Here we can visualize our given data set. In this example, the sepal length is plotted along x-axis and the class level is on y-axis. This plot shows the variation of class with respect to sepal length. Or we can also choose the different parameter along the x-axis. Suppose we choose petal width and along the y-axis we can choose petal length. So this plot shows the variations of different classes along petal width and petal length. Now let's learn about classification in the Vika tool. For classification also we choose the explorer application and, and we choose the downloaded data sets from our system which is stored in the C file In Veka, we have different classifier. First, we choose the classify menu and choose the appropriate classifier. So in the Veka, we have the different classifier. We have the Navier base classifier. We have the IBK classifier. We have the Giro classifier. Giro classifier is also known as the trivial classifier our baseline classifier. We also have the J48 classifier. For our analysis purpose, we'll choose the J48 classifier. Before analyzing the data, we create a model. The first we divide the data into two sets, training set and testing set. The training set is used to create a classifier model and the test data set can be used to check the performance of the model created. 
for most of the application two third of the given data set is selected for training the model and the remaining one third data set is used for testing the model and now we run this is the classifier output and we can obtain the summary as following we are having 51 as the total number of instances this belongs to the testing set out of which 49 instances are classified as correct and only two instances as classified as incorrect the cap we can also see the kappa statistic mean absolute error values root mean square error value relative absolute error values and etc here we can see the detailed accuracy of the classes we have the value of the precision which equals to 0 0.965 we have the value of recall we have the average value of the f measures yeah f1 0 0.961 we also have the values of roc area and on the left hand side at the bottom you can see the confusion matrix here we can see that for the iris tosha all the instances are classified as correct no one instances as classified as incorrect one same is the case for the iris versicolor here here also all the instances are classified as correct and no other instances is classified as incorrect but for the iris virginica out of 17 instances 15 instances are classified as correct and the two instances are the classified as incorrect 